Hey everyone, Greg from CarID.com and I am once again back in the shop with you and today it's for a special segment on off-road bumpers. Now if you're like me and you love getting out in the woods and taking your truck four-wheeling, you already know that a set of off-road bumpers can completely transform how your truck performs. They give you clearance for larger tires, protection from rocks and trees, a better approach and departure angle, all of that and at the same time giving your truck that aggressive look that you've been searching for. But let's be honest with each other, a set of bumpers isn't cheap and finding the right one can be exhausting. There are tons of different styles and constructions, all of them designed to enhance your rig in a specific way. So in this video, we're going to be discussing some of the different off-road bumper types and styles that we offer, and we're also going to give you every detail on their design and how they can improve the off-road capability of your truck. We're even going to talk about all the cool accessories that you can bolt to them to build your own ultimate off-road machine. So here's exactly how this video is going to progress. We're going to first start out with the most common type of truck bumper, and that's heavy duty bumpers, starting with the bare bones plain Jane steel bumper. Then we're going to go ahead and move on to winch bumpers. Following that, we're going to take a closer look at pre-runner bumpers again, giving you every detail on the true purpose of a pre-runner bumper and its features. After that, we're going to discuss some of the additional off-road bumper features like grill guards and hoop bars, again explaining all the different benefits of each one. And I don't want to neglect the rear of the truck, so we have an entire segment dedicated to different features of steel off-road rear bumpers as well. And after all that, we wrap everything up, sharing the different types of finishes that are available so you can determine what will be the best choice for you. So kick back, relax, because by the end of this video, you are going to know exactly what bumper that you need so your truck not only performs out on the trail, but you also won't be able to stop staring at it. All right, let's start everything off with the most common type of off-road bumper, and that's heavy-duty off-road bumpers. This type of bumper is generally the go-to style for most four-wheelers. They offer incredible protection for your rig using thick steel plate, all welded together to create a solid one-piece construction. Bottom line, guys, these things are freaking tough, and tough enough to handle trees, rocks, brush, and even another truck in your way. But because this is one of the most common bumper types, there are a ton of different configurations. Let's start with the basics, your regular heavy-duty off-road bumper. Just like the rest, it's constructed using thick steel plate, all welded together to create a solid one-piece construction. This again makes these types of bumpers incredibly strong and durable to handle serious punishment. They are also designed using very steep angles, so your departure and approach angles are vastly better off-road. And because the angles are so sharp and the bumper is flush to the vehicle, this also aids in allowing you to run a larger tire and avoid any rubbing. But remember, this is the base model when it comes to a heavy duty bumper. So besides function, don't expect a ton of features. For example, if you want a winch, you need to keep searching. A standard heavy duty bumper will not allow you to bolt up a winch into place. The good news though, is even though they come out of the box stripped down, there are a ton of accessories that you can add on to them. This Weston HDX bumper is a perfect example. It's a basic heavy-duty off-road bumper, so no winch. However, you can get additional light bar mounts to mount auxiliary lighting, and it comes standard with heavy-duty one-inch thick D-ring mounts, so you will always have something to hook a strap up to when you need to get pulled out of a jam. Bottom line, if you don't have a ton of cash to spend, a basic heavy-duty bumper is a perfect place to start. It will still give you a ton of features to increase your truck's off-road capability and the option to add on even more features when you're ready. All right, so for those of you that always seem to get your truck in over your head, figuratively and literally, you know that you need a winch. Now, a winch can be one of the most valuable tools that you can have when you're out on the trail, but you can't just bolt a winch to your stock bumper. You need a winch bumper, something that's going to be tough enough to support the weight of your truck and more when you're out there getting yourself or a buddy pulled out of a hole. Now, there are three main types of winch bumpers, ones that are going to incorporate the winch behind the bumper itself or in the front of the bumper using a winch tray or a bumper that simply has a bracket on top, allowing you to bolt the winch right on top of the bumper. Now, all guys will have their thoughts about which one is going to be best, but to me, I love when a winch is concealed behind the good looks of an off-road bumper. This way, you still have that killer styling, but also function when you need it. All right, we're on to pre-runner bumpers. This is personally my favorite style. When I see one of these, the first thing I think of is bombing through the desert in a truck with tons of horsepower at over 100 miles an hour. And it's because of high-speed desert racing that these bumpers were developed. 
They are designed to prevent a rollover if you do end up nosediving off a jump. And unlike a stock bumper that's prone to digging into the ground and possibly flipping you over, a pre-runner bumper allows you to slide over the ground rather than getting hung up. Now generally, pre-runner bumpers are manufactured using steel or aluminum tubing to keep them strong and lightweight, so they are not going to be as strong as a heavy-duty steel-plated bumper. And because they are designed for desert racing, there is always tons of room to mount auxiliary lighting. Those guys race day or night, so no matter what, you got to be able to see. But the telltale sign of any pre-runner bumper is the massive skid plate underneath. It's this skid plate that protects your suspension and steering system, but more importantly prevents that rollover. Now, even though the initial intent was designed for high-speed desert racing, the majority of pre-runner bumpers these days are also offered with a winch. This gives you the lightweight versatility to jump your truck, but if you do decide to take it into the woods to the local mud hole, you're going to have something to pull yourself out with too. So at this point, all of you should have a pretty good idea of the benefits that come with having an off-road bumper. But believe it or not, there are even more features and other ways that you can protect your truck. Now, one of the most popular ways and additional features is going to be a grill guard. Now, generally, a grill guard is going to be constructed of welded steel tubing that's going to wrap around the front end of your truck. Now, you're going to find that some grill guards are designed just to protect the front grill and what's behind it. You know, important parts like your radiator and other engine components. But others go as far as to wrap around the headlights of your vehicle as well, and they usually include either a mesh grill or lateral bars for added protection. But regardless of which design you choose, its true purpose is to provide perimeter protection around the front end of your truck to keep everything intact against tree limbs and tall brush. And if you opt for one with a mesh grill, you're also going to get increased protection from smaller debris like small rocks and sticks. But a full grill guard can be a little intense and maybe more than what you feel is needed. So if you still want some extra protection, but at a lower profile, consider a pre-runner guard or a hoop bar. Now both hoops and pre-runner bars are generally constructed using steel tubing that's either welded or bolted to the bumper itself. Now if strength is a top priority, then you always choose the welded over the bolt-on version. But the biggest difference between the two of them is generally a pre-runner bar will be taller and protrude out further than your traditional hoop. Now this will offer you increased protection as well as lots of real estate to mount lighting. Now, a standard hoop will generally be shorter than a pre-runner, but will still offer you increased protection and definitely more room to mount some additional lighting. But regardless of which one you choose, they will both offer you increased protection and a lower profile than a massive grill guard. Okay, so up until now, most of the designs and features have focused on front bumpers only, so let's look at some rear bumpers. Now, similar to front bumpers, there are two main rear bumper configurations, pre-runner and heavy duty. Heavy Duty is going to be constructed using steel plate all welded together and pre-runner with welded steel tubing for a compact and lightweight design. However, both offer some great additional features besides just protection and performance. Let's go ahead and start with trailer hitches. Now, believe it or not, this isn't necessarily standard on all trucks. And if your truck didn't come equipped with one from the factory, you can kill two birds with one stone by getting an off-road rear bumper with an integrated hitch. This allows you to have the off-road protection that you want and even give your truck more towing versatility. And if your truck did in fact come with a factory tow package, there are also tons of rear bumpers out there to accommodate your factory receiver. But for those of us that really wheel the hell out of our trucks, D-ring mounts are a must. And depending on how and where you get your truck buried, having mounts in both the front and the rear is important. Well, the good news is there are tons of off-road rear bumpers out there that offer D-ring mounts. You just need to decide which one is perfect for you. But there's one feature out there that to me is the most important and you can't do without, and that's integrated steps. You guys know that climbing up to get stuff in and out of your bed can be a pain. And let me tell you, once you have them, you will never go without them again. They make using your truck even easier, and they come in handy a lot more often than you would think off-road. So once you figure out what bumper type you want, you need to select your finish. I'm going to make it easy on you. There are only two options, black powder coat or raw steel. That's it. Now, generally, you're going to find that most bumpers just use the standard black powder coat because it's perfect for off-roading. It protects the metal itself from rust and corrosion, and it's way stronger against impacts than traditional paint. Plus, it does look great. But for some of you out there that want to design your own custom bumper, getting it in just bare metal is the only choice. But this does give you the option to make your bumper your own and unique to your truck. You can paint it to match, use accent colors. The options are endless and it's all up to you. 
Well, everyone, we talked about everything and anything off-road bumpers today, and I threw a ton of information at you. Hopefully, you learned something, and now you have a better idea of what path that you need to take to build your own ultimate off-road machine. But remember, besides improving the off-road capability of your truck, it's got to look great too. So take your time to find that perfect happy medium of off-road performance and that rugged look. As always, I'm Greg from CarID.com, and I will see you guys next time in the garage.